going on YouTube. Finally got a tutorial put together here just to go over some of the general questions that I get on how to hook up the Korg and also, you know, dealing with how to record within the playlist and kind of, you know, general questions I would get about the way I use FL. And also along the lines of trying to customize FL so you can trigger the FPC or the Fruity Slicer to mimic like an MPC so, you know, the notes don't cut off and stuff like that. So I'll try to go over do it in a few parts here and hopefully, you know, this helps out anyone out there that has any questions. And of course, if you still have any more questions after this, just continue to send me any notes or comments. Really appreciate it and hopefully I'll do my best to help you out. Now to set up the Korg with FL, besides the obvious of hooking it up to the computer and making sure it's recognized by your machine, within FL, just go into options, under MIDI settings, and under input, just check to see that you have port A and port B both enabled. Um, you just want to make sure that the enable button sh shows that it's highlighted orange. And the other thing is, which I'll go over in a few minutes, is to record into the playlist you'd want to make sure you have record to step sequencer off. So deselected like I have it shown here. If you have it on, then it's going to record into the step sequencer that's right here in the background. And it'll just record it as these type of mini clicks, which you won't really be able to customize those clicks besides, you know, repositioning them. You won't be able to, be able to go in and alter the, the mini notes, which, you know, that gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're, you're editing anything that you try to record. So next I'll go into how I set up the FPC with the, the pad control.